Hey folks, Paul Markle here from Student of the Gun. Now during a previous video, we tested the viability of a armor plate in a backpack, a standard kid's backpack. And the plate that we tested was good enough to stop pistol rounds. But a lot of folks out there said, well, that's great, that armor plate will stop pistol rounds, but what if there's a rifle? What if the attacker has a rifle? What can you do? Now up to this point, most rifle grade plates, most armor plates that will stop a rifle round have been pretty thick, pretty heavy, and not really practical at all for a kid's backpack. Most kids aren't going to tote around a backpack that has a five, six plus pound plate in the back of it that's an inch to an inch and a half thick. Well, the folks at Ready Man have a solution, and what they have for you is a level three armor plate that weighs less than three pounds. Now it's 11 inches across by 15 inches up and down. It's made of Spectra. It's a level three and it's supposed to stop 223, 76 by two by 39 and 308. What we're going to do today is we're going to test this plate. We're gonna take a nine millimeter plus P plus the M882. That's the military grade full metal jacket, nine mil. We're gonna shoot it with that. And I thought, well, what are you most likely to encounter from the typical bad guy, serial killer, crazy person? Where are they gonna get their ammo? Chances are really good that they're gonna go to the local discount store, they're gonna go to Walmart, and they're gonna buy what's ever on the shelf. So what we did is that. I went to Walmart and I bought 55 grain full metal jacket 223. I bought the 124 grain full metal jacket 762 by 39, the AK round, and a 150 grain full metal jacket 308. We're gonna test all of those on this plate and see what happens. All right, what I did is I tried to spread the rounds out and what I found was that the nine millimeter, okay, the nine millimeter did not pass through. The 5.56 five, did not pass through. The 7.62 by 39, if you look closely, it created a deep bulge, but it did not pass through. Now, the last one was the 308 full metal jacket, and that is what you guys are waiting for. Well, sorry to say that the 308 full metal jacket did indeed pass through. So, what do we have? We have a two plus pound, less than three pound hard plate that you can put in a backpack. It'll stop super high powered nine millimeter, fast nine millimeter. It will stop the 5.56. It will stop the 7.62 by 39. And it may stop a 308 with a soft point bullet or maybe a plastic tip, but we decided to go hard and we used a full metal jacket 308. So the Full Metal Jacket 308 was the only one that was able to pass through. All right, guys, that's it. Paul Markle from Student of the Gun reporting to you from the field.